It's simple. It's striking. There's not a lot here, but what it does have is a huge amount of flavour. Is there anything I can get on the plate now? Yeah, the beetroot could go on the plate. Matthew and Michelle, you have one minute before you've got to start serving. You've only got beetroot on right. the plate. Wait, what do you want to do? Can someone help me carve these quails. Now, herb-scented roast quail with a spiced confit leg in pastry. That yeah. sounds wonderful. I have to be honest, quail isn't really my cup of tea, should we say? You may be pleasantly surprised. OK, well, I'll, I'll give it a go. Right, guys, your time is up and the waiters are now waiting. Yes, Chef. What? Well, yes, Chef. One minute, we'll be ready. Good. Right, just the pasta on the plate, we're ready to go. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Credit to the chefs, because it's a very elaborate creation. Very ambitious. See how it all works out. Chefs, it's looking really good, but oh, we are late. Where's the parfait and where's the bread? It's here. It's ready to go. I hope it's proper homemade cheer batter, because the taste will be lovely. Can we start sending? We can start sending. We're ready to go. Okay. Service, please. Wow, what happened Whoa. there? The guys really helped out. We, we managed to get through it, and I'm, I'm really happy with the plate of food. I, I think it looked beautiful. Yeah, it looked fantastic. It well looked done. great. Well it done. looked great. That parfait looked fantastic. Well done, Michelle. Matthew and Michelle's starter is herb scented roasted quail with a quail pastilla, spiced confit leg wrapped in pastry. Beetroot three ways, glazed, raw, and pickled. Dill oil and a port and chicken liver parfait, served with ciabatta. It's exquisite to look at. The colours, the way it's laid out, fantastic. Oh, what have we here? A message in a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Cast off on your fine dining voyage with quail, port, and a trinity of beetroot. Ahoy! Oh, oh fantastic. It's fantastic. Very nautical. I take it all back. It's delicious. I love this bit as well, the spice, leg and pastry. It's fantastic. That's my favourite. I particularly like the parfait. Very, very smooth. Taste is perfect for me. The ciabatta is lovely and warm and fresh, so it has been made downstairs in the kitchen. Absolutely super. Really enjoyed that. The humble beetroot, beetroot will never be the same for me. The different presentation of the beetroot I thought was really exquisite. I think the bar's been set very high for the rest of the meal. We have this little star for parfait, wonderful and pink in the middle. Just lovely with the warm, fresh part of the bread they've made. With a lot of detail, a lot of skill, and these guys really did put themselves under pressure. Yes, it looked tough, but it was worth it. Two big jobs left to do is to cook the hake and cook the gnocchi as well. There's a bit to do last minute, so bit of a push. Bit of a sweat on. Matt, you can jump on the plate in with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Michelle, you can uh, jump on the tempura. Yeah, do you have enough gnocchi? Yeah, yeah. Guys, you've got ten minutes. Yeah. Are we going to start plating on time? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is everything Five. ready? Gnocchi's about two minutes off. we we'll start getting the rest of the garnish on the plate while yeah. we're waiting for the fish. I just want it to be nice and crispy. Nothing worse than having a soggy bit of skin. <laughs> There's some very interesting contrasts there, isn't there? Nettle, gnocchi, tempura, mussels, some strong flavours there. Holly, Alex, you've got five minutes. Yeah. Have you got the tempura mussels there? Top. Do you want to go put a tempura top piece of gnocchi? It's going to be strong with mussels and hake, which is quite a delicate flavour. It's got you know, maybe less elements as a starter. But having less elements means each one has to be absolutely perfect. Mm. 
Right, chefs, it's looking good. You need to start wrapping it up now and start sending soon. Can we send? Yep. Service. And this is the sauce for it, the yeah. sauce for that separately. Happy? Yeah. I think all things considered, we did really well. We've got a nice plate of food out, everything was nicely cooked. Ollie and Alex's main course is roasted hake, served with nettle gnocchi, tempura mussels, pickled mussels, charred leek, borage flowers, and a mussel and dill oil velouté. It's, it's very minimalist, isn't it? I'm left wondering where the rest of it is. The hake was absolutely wonderful. It was white, it was soft, the skin was nice and crispy on the top. The sauce, really lovely. The gnocchi is very salty. It is salty, but it's not dense as what I normally expect gnocchi to taste of. So it's a, it is a light gnocchi. The tempura mussel is not as crisp as I was expecting. The hake is very good. I suggest that's the best part of it all. It's yeah. beautifully. It's definitely the star of the show. It's simple. It's striking. There's not a lot here, but what it does have is a huge amount of flavour. The gnocchi oh, is so soft, it's melting away. It's a really nice light main course to follow that starter. William, you look pretty organised. Are we ready for dessert? I think we're more than ready to get blown away by the dessert. You think of like you're a ballerina. Right now, I think I'm a ballerina. I'm about to, I'm about to do a little twirl. So yeah, come on, Marcus, your turn. Right. <laughs> this, nice and easy. Yeah. It's very soft, though. You can see I'm shaking myself, so be careful. So for dessert today, we've got poached peaches, dark chocolate and rum cremeux, flatine cherries and peach puree, lavender and peach consomme and raspberries. That sounds like a lot to put on one plate. No, no, don't go, don't go to the It needs to be easy with pastry. You're going to burn the raspberries on the top and it's going to taste bitter, man. Well, it'll be exciting to see how it's presented on the plate. Oh, let's go. Let's, let's go. go. That's bang on time. Because it's getting kind of soft. Gang. Well, well done. done. Well done. Yes. Oh. Well done. For dessert, William has made dark chocolate and rum cremo on a praline base topped with a poached peach, cherries filled with peach puree, raspberries, a lavender wafer, elderflowers, and a peach and lavender consomme. To me, it looks like the showstopper. It looks colorful, it smells lovely. That's really, really good, isn't it? You've got dark, bitter chocolate. Mm, the then rum. There's the rum, then the sweet peach and raspberries, and then the lavender kicks in, doesn't it? It's just absolutely fantastic. But it is quite a, it's quite a big pudding. I'm amazed I'm saying this, but I think it's too big as well. I th I'm getting to the end of it now. I'm just struggling to, to eat that last bit, so I think it, it could have been smaller. I'm not sure if my wife's watching, but um, <laughs> that's, this is the best dessert I've had this year. And I don't know, maybe for longer. It's absolutely exceptional. There's no two ways about it. It tastes good. Peach is beautifully cooked. The chocolate, it's rich, it's dense. I love it with this peach on the top. There's a lot to like about this dish.